last uh, photo, I've got some clamps and pieces ready to be epoxied, which are the forward and aft uh, <coughs> landing gear rails or uh, landing gear braces. I've got my epoxy and I got my wax paper. And I also have a small piece of wax paper that I'm going to be using to put between the clamps and the wood so that any glue won't stick to the clamps. So what I'm going to be doing is mixing up some epoxy and then I'll be applying it to the uh, wood pieces and then I'll be adding the clamps to hold those in place and uh, I'll wait for it to cure. Well, I just finished epoxying the two rails into place. And you can see I have the clamps and the wax paper on the clamps to keep them uh, epoxy free. I'm letting that cure right now. While it's working, uh, I got a little extra tip here. Here's a little water and alcohol. Spray it on a paper towel or rag or whatever you want. And if you have any excess epoxy like that on my finger there, I just Rub a little of that alcohol and water on the epoxy and it sort of just works real nicely to just take it off of, off of your finger. But you might wonder, well can I use this to clean up epoxy that's on the wood? Um, probably not. And if you did, you'd have to do it pretty quickly. Uh, because once it cures, obviously the, the alcohol is not going to do anything anymore. It's not going to be effective to uh, dissolve that epoxy. Um, also, if you did use it on the wood, it would probably get in the joint where you just put epoxy, which could weaken it. So uh, if you got a drop on the wood on below and you cleaned up most of it with uh, wax paper or, or something else and then you had some excess left, yeah, you could probably use a little bit of alcohol in a rag and just try to rub it off the wood uh, to at least even it out so it's smooth and you come back and uh, hit it with a piece of sandpaper and that'll probably take care of it. I decided to add this basswood piece right here to reinforce this joint right here underneath where I made that relief slot for the uh, nipple on the uh, air cylinder. So that's going to go underneath here and come up against the side flush with the rib and, and join underneath the uh, spar and the landing gear rail right here. <laughs> 